U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder arrives in Ferguson today. He's calling for an end to violence. We want to bring in Bloomberg's Toulouse Alamranipa. Excuse me. He's on the ground. And Toulouse, uh, another night of violence in Ferguson. Set the scene for us here as Eric Holder enters the scene. What is the level of tension there? Uh, well, last night, there, just a few hours ago, there was another uh, round of violent clashes. It wasn't quite as violent as, as it has been. Police did not use tear gas and smoke bombs, but they did line up in their riot gear. They arrested about 47 people and dispersed the crowd using, uh, using force. Eric Holder's coming in today, and hopefully he's hoping to heal the community and bring peace. And do we have any sense of who he'll be meeting with, when he'll be making public statements? We're, we're not quite sure yet. He's been in close conversations with the family. He is uh, ordering up a, uh, a, a separate and independent uh, autopsy of the body of Michael Brown. And that's one of the things that he's going to be talking to the family about. Uh, Toulouse, yesterday at, at this time, we were talking about 50 or so um, people you described as instigators who were uh, riling the crowd, uh, hundreds if not thousands of others. Um, has that, that minority, that faction, um, quieted down somewhat? There are still those elements. We still see those elements in the crowd. Uh, a lot of them are taunting the police officers. Some of them are throwing bottles. Um, so they're still there. I think they have less. Con they had less control last night than they did in previous nights. And police showed a little bit more restraint in, in not using the tear gas on everyone just to uh, uh, just to apprehend those individuals. Toulouse, going back to the beginning of the formation of the nation, there's always been a federal and states' rights issue over our police forces. Let me be direct. Will Attorney General Holder be greeted with open arms in St. Louis, in Ferguson, and? For that matter, within the state of Missouri? Well, at least in terms of the, the, the rhetoric, the, everyone has said they op they, they're opening their arms to as many investigations as needed. They're opening their arms to the federal government to come in and, and look at what's going on here. So at, at least in terms of the rhetoric, <coughs> that's, uh, that's the, the, the official statement. We don't necessarily know what's going on behind the scenes and whether or not um, Eric Holder will be completely welcomed uh, as sort of a federal, uh, federal power coming in to, uh, to, to the state's rights. Toulouse, every morning we wake up and we hear about another night of violence in Ferguson. It starts off fairly quiet. Things uh, turn violent and confrontation happens. What happens during the day? What happens in the hours where there's daylight and things are calmer, presumably, and uh, we have things like shopping centers that are now police camp command posts? Uh, for the most part, things are very, very calm and peaceful during the day. There is a heightened police presence. There are police on almost every block within the downtown area of Ferguson. But there is not very much violence during, the, day, during the, the daytime hours. The violent elements usually come up at night, and that's why uh, people have been encouraged to only do their protesting during the day and to leave at night. And I, I think some of that have paid dividends last night.